spread across 64 lakh square feet built at a cost of 3200 crore rupees with space for 4500 offices it was said to be the world's largest office building an indian pentagon of commerce but at the moment only eight companies are operating from here surat diamond boots bharatiya design bharatiya designers bharatiya material aur bharatiya concept ke samarth ko dikhata hai ये बिल्डिंग नए भारत के नए सामर्थ्य और नए संकल्प का प्रतीक है सूरत इज इंडिया डायमंड हब अ वॉपिंग एटी परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड डायमंड आर कट एंड पॉलिश्ड इन दिस गुजरात सिटी विद ओवर सिक्स लैक वर्कर्स एम्प्लॉयड इन द इंडस्ट्री सूरत रोल इज पिविटल दैफोर इट मेड सेंस टू बिल्ड अ फेसिलिटी ऑफ सच स्केल हियर a one stop shop where trading manufacturing and processing could all occur under one roof the sdb was to represent india on the global jewelry map as a major international trading center yet 8 months after its inauguration the sdb remains nearly deserted the goal was to have 1000 diamond companies operating from the complex by diwali this year so what went wrong let's start with the larger picture the global picture india is the world's top hub for diamond cutting and polishing we process 9 out of 10 global diamonds however exports are declining cut and polished diamond exports have fallen by 15% to 1.47 billion dollars from 1.72 billion dollars lab grown diamonds have seen a 14% drop with exports down to 120 million dollars from 139 million dollars One of the major reasons for that is the Russia Ukraine war. The European Union and G7 have imposed a ban on Russian diamonds, cutting off a significant source of raw materials for India's diamond industry. Before the ban, about 30% of India's raw diamonds came from Russia's Al Rosa mine. India's top 3 diamond customers are the United States, China and the United Arab Emirates. China which buys a third of India's cut and polished diamonds through Hong Kong has slowed down its imports due to an economic downturn and a shift in consumer preferences towards gold jewelry with exports dwindling the diamond business is struggling besides surat's diamond boers also has to contend with several internal issues prompting many to consider a more favorable alternative mumbai By February 2024, around 250 companies had moved into the Surat Diamond Boers, including major players like Kiran Gems and Diamonds from Mumbai. Vallabh Lakhani, the owner of Kiran Gems, invested in a nearly 100,000 square feet area at the SDB, relocating his office and staff, and even building a combination within the complex. Lakhani, who was also the SDB chairman, resigned from his position amid the facilities challenges. By August, many companies began relocating out of the SDB, including Kiran Gems, due to significant infrastructure problems. First, the SDB is located on the outskirts of Surat, far from the city's diamond hubs in Varacha, Mahidapura, and Katargam, which are all at least 30 km away. Currently, there is no public transport connecting Surat city to Kajot, where the SDB is located. The Surat Metro is expected to be completed only by December 2027, leaving employees to rely on personal vehicles or app cabs. The SDB's pricing strategy is also focused on attracting large traders, making it unaffordable for medium and small traders who represent about 60% of Surat's diamond industry. Another significant issue is the lack of a fully operational international airport in Surat. Although Surat's airport was designated as an international airport 7 months before the SDB's inauguration, it handles only 35 flights a day compared to over 1000 at Mumbai's Chhatrapati Shivaji Airport. Additionally, Surat's airport lacks customs clearance facilities, forcing traders to travel to Mumbai for exports. As a result, many diamond traders question the practicality of relocating operations to Surat when they still need to come to Mumbai to export their products. The state of the Indian diamond industry is indeed troubling.
Reports indicate that at least 63 diamond polishers in Surat have committed suicide in the past 16 months. Coupled with economic pressures, shifting consumer preferences and geopolitical disruptions, the future of the Surat diamond wars hangs in the balance.